Alright, well, hopefully I have time to get this done uninterrupted this time. But, uh, I know we have a lot of stuff pre-recorded and that I need to get uploaded, but I really felt that I wanted to make a video simply because I finally watched the Xbox One release last night and I kind of wanted to put my opinion out there. And, um, to be honest, I've had a lot of people talk about, like, they're quitting Xbox now because of how much they hated the Xbox One. Uh, a lot of people really angry about the constant internet connection, which I can understand that. That that aspect of it I do find rather annoying. But, um, there's a lot of aspects of the Xbox One that people really have ignored due to its downsides. Like 8 gigabytes of RAM, that is a huge improvement from the Xbox 360. And let's be honest people, the Xbox 360 ran some things pretty shit sometimes, because you'd have to wait for like menus for like 10 minutes before you could do another thing because it was already running the game or already watching a video on YouTube and it would take like much longer than it's supposed to to exit out of the start the home menu or whatever and to be honest that was probably partly due to its lack of uh, lack of RAM I mean 512 megabytes that's not a lot of RAM for something that's gonna run games I mean granted it probably had a decent amount of video RAM I mean still it's I definitely see a lot of improvements in the technology of the Xbox One at least. Now, me not being much of a sports person or much of a television person in in general, I don't see a lot of use personally for the TV features and the ESPN features and all things like that, but in all honesty, technology wise, I feel like they're really improving a lot on what they've had in the past and I'm sorry I'm not gonna put it down just because I have things that I dislike about it I mean honestly yeah it's kind of a pain in the ass having a constant internet connection to run the thing and among other things there was oh what other things did they say was bad about it oh yeah I also I can I can understand. I hate the fact that they're going to have some type of fee for used games. I mean, to be honest, I play a lot of games that my friends bring over and we like to play. And to have to pay a fee every time they bring over like a game that we haven't played before, like, uh, what what the hell? Used games is some gamers only only medium to obtain some of the games they want to play and to make them pay an extra fee to play those games used is really defeating the purpose of having a used game in the first place so yeah I could I could rant for a while on that but I'm not going to I'm more trying to look at the positive side of what they're doing with this I mean <clears throat> yes I can see why you would not want to continue with the Xbox. I can understand that completely. A lot of people dislike those downfalls enough to walk away from Xbox, even though Xbox has been around for a long time. I'm, I'm not sure on the exact release dates of gaming systems. I don't know if PlayStation was out before the Xboxes or what. I'm pretty sure. I'd, 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 I'd probably say Xbox was out before. But that being said, Microsoft did develop the technology that most game systems use anyways because they were kind of the pioneers in technology anyways, although as we all know from, well, anyone technologically, technologically, uh, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Technologically prowessed would know that Microsoft stole a lot of things off of a lot of people, but at the same, at the same, 
with the same, uh, saying that uh, Apple did as well, as far as I've heard, I mean, who knows? I could have been misinformed. But I'm pretty sure both companies st stole a great deal to get where they were. But regardless of that, Microsoft did open up most of the early mediums of technology. So, I'm not making this an argument of who got their consoles out first, who's been around the longest. I'm making it trying to put a positive note on the fact that the Xbox One has definitely made improvements in technology. And people are really disregarding that fact simply because they don't want to have the Xbox One because of its downfalls. And I can understand that, but that doesn't mean you have to put it down simply because of those downfalls. Now, I'm not going to put down anybody that chooses this. <clears throat> I have nothing against anyone who does not want to do the Xbox anymore simply because of this. That's your decision. I'm fine with that. I just don't agree. Now, as for the PS4, I haven't seen the release for that yet, so <clears throat> I really need to, well, not release, but reveal. So I still have some watching to do, I know, but I'm sure after I get to seeing that I will post my opinion on that as well. Um, but so far the Xbox One has been the only one I've seen so far, so I just kind of wanted to make a short video, kind of put my opinion on, on that out there. Um, nothing too, nothing too serious. I just, I just figured I'd put a bit more of a positive light on it. I mean, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm impressed by all the new technology they're putting into it. But I, as everyone else, am not pleased by the constant internet connection, the charge for used games, all the things of that sort. I'm not happy with it either, and I don't blame anybody else if they're unhappy with it. But so far, it's not out yet. Well, I don't think it's out yet. Not not for the mainstream anyways. The general public, I should say. And the PS4, as far as I know, has not been officially like released. So... I guess we're just going to see when everything comes out how it goes, how they plan on carrying forward with it, and <clears throat> me being the quite tolerant person I am, I don't like to put things down before I know the full story of it, so I'm, a, I'm kind of a see-to-believe kind of person, so once I see it, see how it works, see if it see if it really bothers me that much personally I'll I'll say whether I think it's a bad idea whether I think it's a good idea and who knows maybe I'll absolutely hate the Xbox one I I don't actually know I'm I'm doing a pre-owning opinion of a console that may even change before it's released so <clears throat> I'm not saying I know anything concrete I'm not saying that my opinion is law. I'm just giving what I think what I think about the Xbox One <clears throat> and my opinion on how it's improved, how it how it's got downfalls. So I just wanted to make a little video on that and that's pretty much all I had to say. So uh leave a like, comment, whatever you think on it maybe. Just be respectful, please. There's no need to fight on comment page. How old are you people? Ten? Two? Have a good day, everyone.